Welcome back to Close Up. Governor Chris Nunu is laying out his budget roadmap for the Granite State, one that he says includes no new taxes or fees. It does call for nearly $200 million more to be sent to New Hampshire schools, and state employees could be in for a big pay increase. Governor Nunu telling the legislature today New Hampshire's workforce has shifted because of the pandemic, and he says that includes state government, the job vacancy rate for the state hovering near 20% for state work. In other words, one out of every five state government jobs is unfilled right now. The governor says his new budget plan would change that. The governor also talked about the housing crisis, saying there could be solutions tied to regulations and licensing. In other places, Sununu said more money may be the answer, like for state government's 10,000 person workforce. Today I'm announcing that this budget includes an agreement between the state and union representatives for an across the board 10% pay e increase to our state workforce, the single largest increase in state worker salaries in nearly 50 years, followed by another 2% raise after that. Some of the workforce issues the governor mentioned are intriguing, although governor failed to mention anything about child care, and that's a big part of workforce development that we're going to be advocating for. And so now the negotiations begin for the budget.